Hey, our friends, they're going to be drawing a crystal. Yeah, an amethyst crystal. We hope you're going to follow along with us. You need your drawing supplies. We're going to use markers. You also need some paper and something to color with. Yeah, let's start. Yes. Let's first draw little crystals down at the bottom of our paper. And we can draw just kind of random shapes. You don't have to draw them exactly like me. You can just add as many sides to your shape as you want. That looks really cool. Then let's add another one, maybe coming out to the side. Oh, this is gonna be one of my new favorite lessons. <laughs> we could even add little smaller ones next to it too. I'm gonna add another shape, another kind of gem crystal shape on this side. And maybe a smaller one up here in the corner. If We are going fast, so remember if you want to, you can Pause the video and take extra time to add your crystals down here at the base. I'm going to add one more over here and I think that's it. Oh, maybe a little, some smaller ones in, in here too. Now let's make these little crystals down at the bottom look more three-dimensional by adding facets or sides to the shape or the form. Let's add a smaller shape inside, just like we did for the first shape. Then we can connect at the corner, each of the corners that we drew on the inside one, we can connect out to the outside shape. Oh, that looks really cool, Jack. Good job. Thank Let, you. Let's repeat that same step for each of these other crystals. We finished all of the cool facets. Now they look a lot more 3D. Let's add longer and bigger crystals. I'm gonna start right here and draw two lines that come up. Maybe they're two diagonal lines. Let's add a diagonal line coming in on each side. And then up at the top, we can connect them together. Then let's add another shape up at the top, except this shape I'm going to connect to the top, one of the corners at the top. So we'll draw this shape that has different sides to it. And then we can connect those corners in on the top. But down here on the side, let's draw these going straight down. Oh, that looks really cool. Okay, now let's draw another one next to it. Let's draw it a little different though. I'm gonna draw two lines coming up. And then at the top of this one, let's just draw an upside down V to connect them. And we can draw another upside down V connecting to that top point. Then let's draw two diagonal lines coming in closer together towards the bottom. And then connect those together. Wow, this one's looking awesome too. Yeah. Let's draw two lines coming down from that shape. And then right here, I'm going to draw lines connecting to the outside. Oh, we have another corner. I'm going to add another facet right there. Let's fast forward again and add maybe one more on each side that's about the same size. Maybe they're a little smaller, but uh, we can change the shape too. Maybe this one's wider. I'm gonna draw an upside down V. And then let's fast forward and repeat those same shapes and extra facets. That looks really cool. Let's add one more big giant crystal right in the middle. I'm gonna draw two lines coming up just like we did with everything else. Oh, maybe I can see a little bit of this one sticking out down here in between these two. Then let's draw an upside down V, just like we did. So repeating all the same steps, but just making it bigger. Yeah. Then let's add that inside shape, so we can draw another upside down V. And then we can draw the two diagonal lines coming in closer, and then connect those at the bottom. Then let's draw a straight line down from each of those two corners. 
We could even add another straight line down from here. And then connect to the outside on each corner. Jack, we did it. We finished drawing our amethyst crystals. It looks really cool, except it's gonna look even cooler once we do what? Color it. Yeah, this part will fast forward, but at the end, you could pause the video to match our same color. You ready to fast forward? Yes. using our biannual markers and parents you can learn more about our favorite art supplies on artforkidshub.com there's also a link to our Amazon art supply store we're using our biannual markers and we only have two colors picked out right now the first purple we're using is R703 and we're going through and coloring the whole thing except we're leaving some of the faces or some of the facets on our crystals white that's to make it look super shiny kind of yeah. like what we do with the cartoon eyes we leave a little white spot or a highlight. Let's continue to fast forward. We'll color in all of our crystals, but leave some of those facets white. The cool thing with using these markers is now that the color is all dry, we could go back over it and make it look darker. We can add an extra layer. So we'll start up here. This, is, this will make our crystals look even more three-dimensional. So we have a highlight, but we're also gonna add shading. And we'll add this second layer on top. Look how much darker that looks. Yeah. I'm gonna add another one, maybe a darker facet on this side. Ooh, and maybe up here too. Oh, that looks so cool. Okay, let's repeat that same step. We can go through and add darker layers on top of some of the shapes for each crystal. Now we're adding one more layer on top. We let it dry. We let the markers dry completely. And now we're adding another layer on top of what we already just did. This makes it even darker and more three-dimensional. I thought we might use this darker purple R807, but it's too dark. I tested it on another piece of paper. We're just gonna end up using the same marker, one color, to do all of the shading and coloring for this, these crystals. Jack, we did it. We finished coloring and drawing our amethyst crystals. It looks super cool, all colored in. Yeah, I hope our art friends will color their drawings too. Yeah, you can pause the video right now to take extra time to finish coloring. We also use our Prismacolor white colored pencil to add extra highlights to make them look even shinier. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your amethyst. We do. We hope you had a lot of fun, and we'll see you later, art friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.